Just over a year ago, I went home here to help you to address the graduates of the College of Law. I told our future Lyceum lawyers, you must know your quest. I urged them, put meaning in their practice of law. Fight for something. Do not pursue cases. Instead, pursue causes. Senator Laurel, who followed the footsteps of the great founder of this university, Dr. Jose P. Laurel, was a man who knew his quest and pursued it to the fullest. It is only fitting then that this center offers a space where Lyceans can find the beginnings of their own quest, as well as the tools they need to succeed in it. confirmed a few weeks ago. Um, whenever a senator or a congressman will, will uh, stand up at that time, because several of them wanted to say something about the nominee. And consistently, the legacy of the Philippines was being mentioned by each and every one of the congressmen and senators. Isipin niyo na lang po yung nasa isip kung gano'n ko kalig kasaya at that time. Kasi nakatayo ako sa harapan ng mga senador at kongresista ng isang constitutional body at binabanggit ng binabanggit ang eskwelahan na pinanggalingan ko. Kaya po sobra ang kaligayahan ko at that time. I'm really so proud to be a Laysian because I've always been saying, once a Laysian, Always a legacy. What we are today, I hope I speak for Randy and for Odell, is a cumulative you know, combination of the training that we got from all the bright individuals brought by Senator Laurel in the office because we worked with them. We learned from them. At that time, maybe some of us did not appreciate it because it was tough, it was hard, but over time, you do remember what you learned from them. So, medyo mayabang ako sa chair at saka when I deal with the House and the Senate, Kasi marunong ako sumagot ng constituency mail, marunong ako mag-draft ng speech, marunong ako mag-draft ng committee report, marunong ako gumawa ng amendments. All the stages in the legislative process, we went through it under the diligence of the senior consultants in the office and of course, the legendary Terry Laurel. Being involved in the conceptualization process that would give life and meaning to my grandfather's commitment to producing competent, resilient, and globally competitive students. On a personal note, being married to an architect and happily so, <laughs> I've developed a deeper understanding that well-built environments such as this ARC have a strong positive psychological effect on the behaviors of its users. We have been wanting to offer our students a safe space where they can adopt modern methods of learning. Mga kaibigan, LPU is a school that learns. This mindset humbles all of us educators to learn from our students, to understand the needs of the greater community, and to be productive participants and members in our society. The 
ASHL ARC is envisioned to be digitally driven, upgraded to have the world's knowledge at your fingertips, intended to deliver well-defined solutions for an examination, a thesis, or a policy paper. Best of all, the center as a knowledge infrastructure will continue to be the catch basin of knowledge generated by our students, our faculty, and scholars, particularly the graduates themselves, who, in the pursuit of research, in the exercise of the professions, have valuable information to share. Indeed, learning is never ending. This infrastructure will continue to host the literature of our heroes, their songs, their poems, their essays and speeches, using technologies to make this alive and relevant. Those of you who studied in LPU and maybe thinking out loud to yourself, Oy, nung panahon ko, wala namang ganito. <laughs> well, we can always invite you to come back to re-enroll for another degree. <laughs> Learning is never ending. Thank you for honoring us today on LPU's 70th and Senator Sotero H. Laurel's 104th birth anniversary. Maraming, maraming salamat. <laughs>